guys this video is about the anti defection law defection literally means to abandon a position or association in order to join an opposition group loosely speaking in politics the defector is anyone who switches their loyalty to another political party the original party often considers the defector as a traitor defections allow an opportunity for corruption in political parties and horse trading in order to gain political majority in the legislatures and form governments there are many instances where mps and mlas have hopped parties to gain political advantages this made a mockery of the democratic system that's why in 1985 the constitution was amended for the 52nd time by adding the 10th schedule The amendment made defection a ground of disqualification and laid down the process by which legislators may be disqualified on the ground. So, if the legislators defected, they would be disqualified as member of legislature. The 52nd amendment, also known as the anti-defection law, explains how three kinds of members of legislature can defect. It talks about defection by members belonging to political parties. It also talks about defections by members elected otherwise than as a candidate set up by any political party that is independent members. And it also talks about defections by nominated members. So now let's discuss each kind of defection. Defection by members belonging to political parties. A legislator is said to be a member of a political party if the political party had set him up as a candidate for elections. If a member of a political party after being elected as a candidate which is set up by that party gives up the membership of the party he is a defector. Also if the member of political party votes against a direction given by the political party who he is said to have defected. If the member who has voted against the direction which is given has taken permission from the party to vote against it or the party condones the member's vote within 15 days then he has not defected defection by members elected otherwise than a candidate set up by any political party these are independent candidates persons who get elected as independent candidates are disqualified from the legislature if they join any political party after winning the seat this is the third kind defections by nominated members members who are nominated to a house are deemed defectors if he or she joins any political party after expiry of 6 months from the date on which he takes seat which means nominated members of a house who are not members of any political party have 6 months to become members of any political party cases of merger when two political parties merge the original membership changes from one political party to another the membership of the mps and mlas who belong to the political parties also will change these members are not defectors if not less than 2/3 members of the legislature party agree to the merger defection in cases of presiding officers the speaker of the lok sabha the legislative assembly or the chairman of the rajya sabha are not disqualified as defectors if they give up membership of the political party similarly after having given up the office of speaker or chairman in case they rejoin any political party which they belong to that too does not make them defectors the question as to whether member of the parliament or state legislature has defected or not will be decided by the chairman or speaker of the house and this decision is final